Hello, um, my name is Martin. I uh, have been recently inspired to make a video um, explaining my vegan story. So, uh, at around the start of 2014, I was veering away from meat. I had watched um, Earthlings, highly recommended. And um, I had also watched Gary Yurofsky's Greatest Speech You've Ever Heard. Also, definitely highly recommend that. I will post the link to that and Earthlings below. Um, so that kind of got me in the mode of thinking of, you know, do we really need meat? Is it really that necessary? Is it ethical? Is it... Is it good for us? Is it good for the planet? And um, so for the better part of that year, I was kind of tapering off my meat consumption. And uh, for example, I would notice that I would go to hot yoga and I would literally sweat and it would smell like salami. And that, that kind of grossed me out. Um, this, of course, was when I was actually like eating salami and other types of meat. So I would notice a correlation between how I would smell and what I was eating, which makes perfect sense because you are what you eat. So, yeah, that was uh, one thing that I remember. Um, in, in the spring of 2014, I went to do tree planting. And tree planting, for those of you who don't know, is a very physically demanding job. Um, and when I got to the tree planting camp, I told the cook there that if... Uh, I told her that I was going to be pretty much vegetarian, but occasionally I might dip in and have some meat because at that point I still really hadn't made the connection. So uh, about a month in tree planting, the cook, Holly, if you're watching this, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, she, she came to me and said, listen, you can't just flip-flopping back and forth I had eaten meat I think about three times that month and she she basically has to plan her meals so she she came to me and said it's not conducive for her meal planning to have all of a sudden one day need an extra portion of meat in any case I completely cut out meat so I said, okay, all right, I get it. I'll just go vegetarian. L let's just let's just stick with that. So that entire, well, not entire season, but for the rest of the season, um, two or three months, when was it? Start in May, um, June, July, August. So for three months, I wasn't eating any meat and I have to add that I don't drink alcohol I haven't drank any alcohol for over three years now I uh, wasn't drinking any beer of course um, but I noticed that I was getting a gut and I can understand if you're just sitting around on your couch watching TV or sitting on your computer playing computer games or something and eating a lot of food yeah you're gonna you're gonna gain weight but the thing is I was tree planting and that's a very active job you're active at least eight hours a day and it's it's very very physical you're burning tons of calories so I'd been a skinny guy my whole life and I'd noticed that I'm getting this gut which to me was like what's what's going on something's not right like you know I'd kind of been like yeah I'm gonna be skinny always and I remembered 
my dad saying, you know, son, when you hit 30, it all goes downhill. 30, you just wait. You're skinny now, but yeah, 30. So I was like, holy crap, is, is old man right? Like, is, is that just the way it is? <sighs> um, so in, in, in addition to the gut, I had noticed that I had also been feeling quite disgusting. Like when I was bending down, planting these trees, I had like acid reflux coming up and I had like this horrible gas. It was like farting like basically 14 hours of the day when I was awake, I was just like farting away like I don't I remember there was a brief period in the evening where I would just stop but the next day it would just start up again and it was like disgusting horrible horrible gas so yeah um getting a gut um disgusting acid reflux horrible gas all these things were like oh man what's going on here so yeah this kind of got me thinking a little bit more about the health aspects of veganism and i had already been subjected to some videos of the ethics on it so all these things were kind of bubbling around in my head and in August, at the end of August, I went to Woof on a farm called Chuckleberry. And while it's not a vegan place, the food that we were eating there was mostly vegan. It was like grains and like, you know, like rice and potatoes. And it, it was like 90% vegan. There was eggs available, um, but the majority of the food was just basically vegan. So I was like, you know what? Gut, mm, no, no thanks. Let's, let's just, let's just do this. So that's when I went vegan. It's been over two years now. I recently had my blood work done and everything came back fine. Um, I had a little bit of cholesterol which surprised me because plant food doesn't contain cholesterol but I guess if you have a sedentary lifestyle your body manufactures it or something like that but uh, since then I've gotten a bike and I've tried to be a little bit more active and my cholesterol wasn't even that bad I think it was something like a hundred and fifteen I don't know I'd, I'd, I'd have to look at the paper um, yeah, but anyways, continuing on, I decided to go vegan, and since then I had watched The Greatest Speech You've Ever Heard like a second time, and just kind of really delved deeper. So, started a little bit ethics, a little bit health, but the longer I did it for, the more I saw that, you know, it's not good for the planet. It's not good for people. People don't need it. It's kind of like society just ingrains in us that we're, we have to eat meat. You know, if you want to be big and strong, you got to eat your meat. Yeah, you got to get your, your milk and your eggs. And uh, from what I'm experiencing, it's not at all, it's not at all the truth it's it's quite a distortion um, people don't need to eat this food there's plenty of vegan bodybuilders out there that are quite strong um, Patrick Baboumian is uh, um, quite the tank if you look up Patrick Baboumian he is uh, He's quite an inspiration and there's there's plenty of others if you look up vegan bodybuilders you'll you'll come up with quite a list um, I've been subjected to some more kind of I wouldn't say ridicule but just kind of like recently I, I did a volunteer program 
where I had to eat with lots of people and I was like the only vegan and I got a lot of questions about it and uh, you know some odd comments like yeah if you want to be strong though you gotta eat meat and it's like mm, really so this kind of motivated me to start working out a little bit more um, because I I've never really worked out and let's face it having muscles is not a bad thing so um, that's a kind of a added side effect of going vegan in addition to feeling quite a bit better I don't have this gut anymore um, I feel great I feel like I'm doing good I've, I've been filled with such such a feeling of this is the right thing and it makes sense to me that what's best for ourselves is also the best thing for the planet so yeah mm, that's all that I can kind of think of right now I uh, found my my uh, results here my blood work and my cholesterol was 137 HDL was 49, LDL was 61. So, I mean, my HDL could be higher, um, but overall, um, all the results were, were good. Um, yeah. Um, other than that, just kind of doing the video off the top of my head, so maybe missed a few points here and there maybe rambled on a bit but if you're still here thanks thanks for sticking it out and um yeah my first sort of i don't know if you'd call this a vlog but yeah just uh been wanting also to been also feeling inspired to start making a few more videos um so yeah if you're watching this, thanks again, and see you for the next one. Later. Bye.